I'm Renee Garofolo. We're trying out a new video format for our quarterly newsletter, so let us know what you think. I'll include an email address at the end of the program for your feedback. Now, here's the latest PHFA news. Governor Tom Wolf announced seven projects to be awarded $2.8 million for the construction or rehabilitation of mixed-use developments. The funding was raised through the sale of tax credits under the Mixed-Use Developments Tax Credit Program. For more information about the projects receiving funding, visit our website. In mid-August, Harrisburg Magazine announced the winners of its 2018 Simply the Best Readers Poll. Readers voted PHFA one of the best mortgage companies in the mid-state. The annual poll is conducted every spring with more than 200 categories and more than 100,000 votes were cast this year. PHFA has launched its new Take Charge of Your Money webpage. PHFA has a statewide network of counseling agencies that offer no-cost personal financial education. This includes creating a personal or family budget and help improving your credit score. People can find an approved counseling agency near them just by entering their zip code. More information is available on the PHFA website under the news feed. In mid-November, PHFA recognized the work of the state's private sector housing counselors during an awards event in Harrisburg. These counselors help PHFA achieve its housing mission by assisting people with questions about home buying, home foreclosure, and other housing topics. Counselors from across the state attended the event, representing 72 counseling agencies. In other news, PHFA has announced the return of the Pennsylvania Housing Insurance Fund. To tell us more is Colleen Baumert. If you haven't heard, PIF is back, P-H-I-F. PIF stands for the Pennsylvania Housing Insurance Fund. It's the agency's mortgage insurance fund that provides affordable mortgage insurance coverage. So what does this mean? Our participating lenders can offer up to 97% financing under our bond program, also known as the Keystone Home Loan Program. For more information about PIF mortgage insurance coverage or the Keystone Home Loan Program, please visit our website, which is www.phfa.org or call our homeownership professional hotline at 717-780-3871. Now it's time for our Around the State segment, where we show you progress on new affordable housing developments from across the state. All of these developments have received funding from PHFA. Let's start in Allentown. West Turner Residences won nation's top development and best senior housing development in the Affordable Housing Finances Annual Reader's Choice Awards. West Turner Residences brings together healthcare, and affordable housing for elderly residents in this 61-unit development. Susquehanna Homes added 36 units of affordable housing to the Homewood neighborhood in Pittsburgh. Officials and residents joined in the ribbon-cutting ceremony. Next up is the Anthony Wayne Senior Housing Phase 3 in the Grays Ferry neighborhood of South Philadelphia. The development adds 34 one-bedroom and 11 two-bedroom apartments of affordable senior housing. In Harrisburg, construction has started on 37 new affordable rental units for people 62 years old and older at Paxton Place. Four of the units will be fully accessible and one unit will be hearing and vision accessible. Officials broke ground on new veteran housing project Freedom Court in Mount Carmel. The project will include five garden-style apartments for senior veterans. And Centennial Village celebrated its grand opening in late August as Philadelphia welcomed 51 units of affordable housing in the West Parkside neighborhood. Two PHFA employees have been recognized for the work they do to help Pennsylvania residents. Holly Chase, PHFA's financial education officer, was selected by the Association for Financial Counseling and Planning Education as its 2018 Financial Educator of the Year. Also, PHFA's Housing Management Representative, Nicole Kindred, was named a Woman of Excellence by the new Pittsburgh Courier. 
PHFA also prides itself for being involved in its community and giving back. Our next story showcases Tanya Warren, a PHFA employee, as she and her team walked for a cause. On August the 11th of this year, my team, Tanya's Treasures, walked the 16th annual Fun Run Walk for Epilepsy. There was over 2,500 people that walked this year, and our team raised $1,869. All proceeds that are earned go to support and education for over 90,000 people living in the state of Pennsylvania. Thank you, Tanya, and thanks to all the PHFA employees who participated in the Walk for Epilepsy. On a final note, PHFA would like to thank several employees for their service as they retire from the agency. Bill Fogarty has been with the agency for 39 years, Pam Fisher for 24 years, Julie Fischel for 21 years, and Martha McGraw for 15 years. We wish them all the very best as they begin the next chapter of their lives. That concludes our program. We hope you like the new video format. Don't forget to email us with your comments. You can use the email address shown on the screen. And of course, email us anytime if you need more details on any of the stories in our program. Thanks for watching. Please join us again in January for the next video newsletter.